The home credit business model that we operate is very different to most of the lenders. I mean, it's been around 128 years. It's never made a loss in that time, incidentally. It's probably uniquely close to its customers in that we uh, visit each customer before we make uh, them a loan and then we call weekly to collect the repayments. So we make about 80 million home visits a year, or put another way, we call on one household uh, in 20 in the UK every single week. There are over 11,500 people covering most of the postcodes in the UK and Ireland. And our agents tend to live and work on the patch where the customers are. They have very good local knowledge and community knowledge, knowledge of the local employment scene and so on. So they're very good at making lending decisions. The amounts we lend tend to be small, typically three or four hundred pounds, and with a fixed weekly repayment it allows customers to stay in control and budget for the amounts that they need to pay back. Uh, customer satisfaction rates in this business run very high, currently at around 95% satisfied or very satisfied. Our second business is Vanquist Bank. Vanquist is a credit card issuer. Again, it's very different from most credit card issuers in that it was set up from the start to serve non-standard consumers. So there are some key differences with Vanquist versus other credit card businesses, in particular lower credit lines which allows the customer to stay in control and a much more frequent level of contact with the customer than you might see in a, a prime credit card business. The business has traded very well through uh, previous downturns and certainly in the early 90s Provident Financial went through that period without profits falling. Provident Financial is very different to most other lenders and so we've been able to manage through the credit crisis successfully. First of all, we fund our business long but lend short. Our typical home credit loans last for one year and they're funded by bank loans running out over three to five years. So very different from most lenders who tend to lend long but then fund short term in the money markets. Providence dividend policy was set at the time of the demerger in the summer of 2007 when our international arm was spun off. That policy is to maintain the dividend at at least 63.5 pence per share whilst rebuilding cover over the medium term so that our payout ratio is about 80%. So what's the investment case then for holding Provident shares? Well firstly the dividend. The dividend has been very stable over time supported by the relatively solid earnings of the home credit business which are now growing again. Secondly though Provident operates in the broader non-standard marketplace via real personal finance and Vanquist and both those businesses are capable of much faster growth. So Provident then offers a combination of both income through the dividend but very good growth prospects particularly through Vanquist and real personal finance.